The talent of Shafi Bello and Tony Abraham brought out the best in Timini. But before that time, it was, you know, it was in ruins. Madam, can you stop with the shouting, though? You are not hey. the only one in this elevator. Stop, stop, stop giving me a migraine. Oh, God. Brother, 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 please mind your business. Mind your, yeah, mind your business. Let me mind my business. Please, check or see. I shall not see me there. I don't want that. I don't want to be for me. I don't want to be for me. I don't want to be for me. Zari has been under a lot of pressure lately. You know that boy does not like me. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to listen. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not putting my hand in my vagina. No. Yeah. Yeah. Madam, this equipment, you know they work. You know? We don't get the tools. We go, you can't get the tools now. Madam, the maintenance, get that one. Oh. Where are the maintenance guys? Oh yeah now ah that's go see them because you all bring them ah ah oh vex and how many about this? What for chance make I give you nine? You know we no complete. Ah. Hello. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition with the Consulty. My name is Chacha Wabara. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, we do our movie reviews and of course we give you trailers. All right, and if that's what you're looking for, please sit back and enjoy. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button, turn off your post notification, and subscribe. Right to my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you so so very much for being here. I love you so much and I appreciate you. Right, so today, what we will be reviewing is Elevator Baby, so starring Timini Ebusong. Uh, Toye Abraham, Shafi Bello, and Yemi Solade, and lots of other excellent actors and actresses, right? So, Elevator Baby is a 2019 um, Nollywood movie, Netflix movie. I actually watched it on Netflix, right? So, and um, it kind of like tries to, you know, um, expose what you usually would face in nigeria like you know, it touches on electricity poor electricity you know um non-dependent on facilities that um we would, that you know a normal citizen would like depend on so elevator baby has to center on um, a man and a woman caught in the elevator and you know the hours the time it took or rescue response to come and um, bring them out of that you know very very dicey situation the elevator baby i really did not understand why the movie took so long you know, to begin to pick up momentum like you know there were scenes in this plot that had no business being there it was like um, timini didn't just understand um, what he was supposed to do and everything just looked like it was just facing faking it like uh, literally reading out for me re you know reading from his script and all that it the, was like the character of Timini needed someone to kind of like boost boost his character to bring out the best that he had funny enough funny enough this is my first time watching a movie with Timini inside and because of um, the stories I've he heard about him like he's a lover boy blah 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 I was looking forward to like a wonderful performance okay so the um, the beginning of the movie like disappointing for me because all my hopes were dashed I was like is this the guy what am I watching what am I doing here so it took him a long time to kind of like you know unveil uh, whatever talent he has it was when um, Shafi Bello is his mom in the movie, right? So when he now had a one-on-one, -on -one, like son and mother, mother and son, you know, having um, an argument, you know, serious argument and all that. When Shafi Bello started acting, when, you know, it was her time to act out her role, it was when Timini began to, I don't know, wake up from sleep, like, okay, actually I'm acting a movie. That was when I, be I began to, like, see... Um, something about um, you know little bit of something brilliance in his really much right so I wasn't really impressed with his acting um, at the onset of the movie okay now so elevator baby is centered around a guy who um, he uh, is a rich boy is a rich mommy's boy and um, 
he was just acting out he lost his father he was resentful of his mom and he and his stepdad it was always you know going you know, getting into trouble and all that at some point his mom lost patience with him and withdrew you know blocked his car like he should fend for himself so you know for someone who was used to so much money and he had to now start you know applying for job so along the line he goes into this establishment to apply for a job i think he actually attended an interview right and as he was going into he was going in for the interview he met tony abraham a pregnant woman and all that so um they got into an argument in the elevator and he goes in for his interview so fast forward to when he was done with his interview he comes out and there again he meets tony abraham who is starting and all that it was a very beautiful uh, story at that point right and um what ensued was that the elevator i think there was a power failure and the elevator got stuck and there and then tony abraham went into labor <laughs> so he was now left with the rich spoiled brat to now help her you know to reassure her and you know help her through that difficult phase of course her water broke and he was confused uh, ironically all his friends he was calling didn't take him seriously it took a while for people to begin to like actually think that actually what he was saying was the truth that he was stuck in the elevator with um, a pregnant woman and uh, he needed help on the other hand i think brushagi was uh, kind of like the maintenance guy who <laughs> wasn't serious about his work but that whole up there you know one just one little bit the 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 role that brushagi was um was playing there a repairer guy and what you know all these uh, mechanics and all that you know put people through especially in nigeria right you know you, you they, they literally just you know make you feel so frustrated and all that which brushagi portrayed but at some point he kind of milked it too much uh, when he started when brushagi started i i you know i had fun i was enjoying it but at some point it wasn't funny anymore I didn't see the need to keep dragging it. Yes, you, that, that was supposed to be your role to do this. But he was milking it and um, you know, I didn't really connect with the character I, anymore. Now, in terms of the cine, uh, cinematography, the lighting was just there. Just there, right? And um, the sound, at the beginning of, at, at the onset of the movie, the sound was 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 just, um, wasn't funny at all. So I, I kept on trying to, you know, strain my ears to pick up what they were saying, which I was just wondering. Now, at the end of the day, you know, you know, after some time, it was like they picked up on it. They kind of like we strategized. And when the main movie started, which was in the elevator, with Tony Abraham, that's between uh, Tony Abraham and Timini, it was they tried with the elevator uh, uh, filming because um, whatever drone that they use or how they position the camera plus the, including the lighting was wonderful given that you know they said there was power outage so the lighting was perfect because we could see the expressions we could understand what was going on we were not straining our ears anymore or we were not straining our eyes as well so it was beautiful what toy abraham did there was wonderful because they captured the lighting they gave us enough light to see and we could hear them properly and see everything that was going on properly yeah not too properly but like giving like i said given that you know there was a power outage supposed power outage in the movie they did a wonderful job so uh, now they tried to introduce um um another subject matter that uh, tony abraham had you know got pregnant for her boss's husband and all that and then the boss while trying to you know organize people that will come and rescue them including brashagi that will come and rescue them from um, the elevator hears that and just walks away she doesn't care anymore so it didn't make sense you know it didn't really make sense i don't know maybe it can happen in ninja um, in all i will rate them kind of like a five over ten because um, it took a while for the movie to kind of to make sense it, it, they were all confused especially timini and his group of friends in the club and all those things that happened a, a, a part that actually made a little bit of sense was shafi bello and uh, my husband um when they were waiting for timini to get back home but um, that was again ruined by timini's you know inadequate acting at that onset like i said um the talent of shafi bello and tony abraham brought out the best in timini 
but before that time it was you know it was in rings but in all it was a wonderful movie because what they did apart from that lighting the sound they effectively captured the anxiety you know who were held I, I was held spellbound right I was watching oh my god so that thing you know that thing that we usually watch in movies like hey god oh, building up the suspense and all that they did it you know it was perfect a hundred percent what am I saying five over ten no I'll give them a seven over ten right it was you know captured to the T okay and um, it was wonderful and it ended perfectly so I'd advise you to watch the movie it's an excellent movie to watch and chill with okay yeah so if this is your first time joining me please hit on the subscribe button turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when a new video comes out did I tell you that I'm so glad that we did this today thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time bye